like Gaga? Who is like Gaga? Who is like Gaga?
We bless you on this morning. Yes. Lord, we thank you for your people that are here. Yes. Lord, incline their ears this morning. Yes. Lord, but decrease me that you may increase, oh God. Yes, Lord. Let your light shine bright through me, God. Yes. That others may see the light. Yes. Lord, bless your people here again. Yes. Bless me as I deliver your word, oh God. Yes. Lord, let the people hear and let them have an understanding. Yes, Lord. Lord, in your blessed name we pray. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. It is definitely a pleasure to be amongst God's people. Amen. Uh, it is a double pleasure to be among family. Amen. 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 Uh, you feel a, a certain sort of comfortability yes. when you're around people that you know. Am I right? Right. Right. Yes. And so today I can't tell you that I'm not a little nervous. I have jitters because I want to respect the word of God. And so we have uh, a text that God has put on my heart and I wish to share with you all on this morning. And I pray that you get something out of it. I pray that it pricks the heart of those that are uncivilized uh -huh. and it blesses those that are in the will. Right. Amen. A familiar passage of scripture starting in Daniel 1 through 3 and you all may be seated after which I read that. Because I'll be moving around in the scripture, the text this morning. Amen. Daniel 3 says, Nebuchadnezzar the king had made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits mm -hmm. and had bred of three six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the providence of Babylon. Then the king set together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the providence uh -huh. to come to the dedication of the image with Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Uh -huh. Then the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that the king had set up, and they stood before the image. That Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Yeah. You all may be seated. I'll be delivering a text to you pretty soon, but I want to give you some foreground. All right. King Nebuchadnezzar was not of our faith. Uh -huh. He served idol gods, and in the text it tells us that he created his own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to serve any God that I got to create Come on. <laughs> myself. Yeah. Uncle, I don't want to serve any God that I got to pick up and take with me yeah. Yeah. when I need the blessing. When I need the breakthrough, I need God to come see about me. Uh -huh. But he had built this image. And he was so proud of it. That's why he was so proud of it that he wanted to show it to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Not only did he want to show it to everybody, Barry, he wanted everybody that came in the presence of it uh -huh. to have the same reverence that he did for it. Yeah. He wanted you to kneel down, to fall down, mm -hmm. and to worship mm -hmm. with this great statue that he had built. Yeah. You have to be careful. Of people that grade their own paper. Urban myths tell me they'll make an A every time. <laughs> I'm not telling you about something I know, Tommy. I done cheated before. <laughs> they say pass it to the back, AJ. I looked at AJ. Like, <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> but the praise, praise and worship is meant. For those of a willing heart that are willing to do so, that are not done by force right. and are not under duress. Uh -huh. right. Right. I don't want anything if you if I gotta force feed you to give it to me. <laughs> if you've done me wrong, I shouldn't have to force you to give me an apology. Right. 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 If you've taken something from me right. and you still have it, I shouldn't have to force you to give it back. Right. It should be of a willing heart. Right. Come on now. Preach that. <laughs> In the subject today, we, we had a king that was so full of himself. That he wanted everyone to feel and do as he felt. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he made a decree. Not only did he just mention this, that I want y'all to do this. He made a decree. A yeah. decree meaning a law. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, now in our day and age, we got some laws that are being overturned and, and all yeah. kinds of stuff. But mm -hmm. here, Nebuchadnezzar made a decree. And when he made that decree, everyone had to follow him. Mm -hmm. right. Everyone. So we're familiar with the story of the, the Hebrew boys. Uh -huh. He was fond of the Hebrew boys. They were actually employed by him. He had put them over a certain region and he had gave them a responsibility and from their track record, but they had done well. So he, they were in high, no matter who, what God that they served, they were in high esteem to the king. Well, I heard somebody say, no matter who you are, God will make room for you. In doors that you didn't have keys to. So the, the story of, of the three Hebrew boys, we've heard it before and we've, we, we've studied it, we, we've analyzed it, but I hope to bring out something on this morning that you may not have thought about. Hmm. The three men decided that they were going to attend the gala that the king had put together. They decided they would go there, but they didn't know the stipulations when they got there. The stipulations were when you got there that I hear that you all are not going to bow down to this hmm. idol that I've made. Mm -hmm. I can imagine, I can imagine uh, Dr. Antoine that he called them into the quarters because he was fond of them. Uh -huh. He didn't want to put them out in front of everybody, but I hear that y'all not going to do that. You mean tell me I'm not going to do that? As much as I've done for you, as much as I've provided for you. And they tell him, oh, king, we have no regrets in telling you. No, we're not going to even take any caution in telling you. No, we, we ain't doing that. That ain't, that ain't what we do. Right. The king was astonished. He, he said at the sound of the cornet, the trumpet, the flute, the horn, and all this other harmonious music, Hey, y'all got all this band and stuff out here for you. You <laughs> tell me that, that you ain't gonna do what I tell you. <laughs> I know you hear this music. This, this folk didn't come cheap. <laughs> but at the sound of this music, I need you to fall down right. come on, come on. and to worship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though you, we can't see your God here, but I, this what I have made. I need you to worship Him. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and if you don't fall, well, now let me add this. He said, I need you to fall down and worship this image that I have made. And then it has a semicolon. And, and right after that, it says, well. What that means is that the king thought that he made something that he made it good. He figured that he made it good. So there's no way that you're not going to look at this. It's very pretty. It's, it's, it's idealistic to the eye. And you're going to tell me that you're not going to worship? No, if you don't worship. Uh, since that's what you want to do. Since you don't worship, you will be cast in the same hour. The man tells you that he's not going to hesitate throwing you into the fiery furnace. In that same hour, there will be no time for you to, once that hour is up, for you to regret your, recant your statement. No, we, we've already, no, we've got a place for you already. In that same hour, if you don't worship, you'll be cast into the fiery furnace. Then he adds insult to injury. You know, sometimes, you know, being petty ain't started. Just, you know, yeah, it, it, it's, been, it's been happening a long time. So, so on top of that, the king said, once I throw you in the fiery furnace, and we already know that the fiery furnace is seven times hotter. Right? That's, that's just to let you know how hot it is. It's hot right now. Outside. Yeah, yeah. But it's going to be seven times hotter. Than that. You complaining now, but if you don't get your life right, you gonna find some more heat that you ain't looking for. Seven times hotter, being thrown in the fire. We in the church, as a church, have to stop conforming to the world and its pagans' beliefs, even when the outcome is unfavorable. Just because the story has a happy ending doesn't mean that in between the covers there will be pain, yeah. and there will be struggle. Come on, yeah. man, make it well, the kicker is that, that we'll experience some discomfort, but I'd much rather face discomfort than destruction. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a difference. Uh -huh. There's a difference. One thing that came to mind when, when going over this and reading about these young men's plight, uh, and how it all started, well, uh, that was a party. Uh -huh. That was a party, and, and if you went to any party that's elegant, 
or that has any any kind of structure, they are gonna tell you the RSVP, mm -hmm. and they gonna tell you to list your plus one. Right. Right. They don't want you bringing everybody. You can't bring your kids to this function. This ain't that type of function. I know. I got I got a friend. His, his kids can't. You know. <laughs> you gotta keep your eye on it. <laughs> But for a function that, that's pretty sweet, we gotta put some clothes on, right. AJ. Bring your plus one. I'm gonna invite you and, and yeah, bring your wife. Bring your plus one. <laughs> right? Yeah. You have to be careful who you invite. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Yep. Well. And I ain't talking about the plus one at this point. I'm talking about you gotta be careful who you invite. Because if I know I bring AJ, he gonna bring his daddy and me and his daddy don't get along. Come on, come on. <laughs> So you have to be careful who you may invite because you have no control over who they invite. Right. Right, right, right. So you got to be real selective mm -hmm. right. in your invites. Mm -hmm. right. Be real selective in your invitations. Right. Well, like I said earlier, I'd much rather face discomfort than destruction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of these events, events that we talk about, they, they require planning. In the planning process, the coordinator of the event sends out invitations of those they wish to attend. For this event, you will have to leave the kids at home. We told you that already. This is, this is a don't only atmosphere. And anybody else who can't behave themselves in public. Uh, depending on the event, the dress code will be uh, heavily enforced. Upon receiving your invite, you receive the flexibility yeah. mm -hmm. to invite a plus one. Right, yeah. right. My question to you this morning, also my subject, who is your plus one? Who is your plus one? That's it, that's it. You got an important event. This is a once in a lifetime event. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And you have to invite one person. Mm. So folks will be mad. Yeah. <laughs> folks will be mad. I know you should invite me. Right. <laughs> But you want to invite somebody mm -hmm. that's going to compliment you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. I can imagine when AJ and Tommy go into one of those events. <laughs> put, on, put, on, put on something. Right. Put, on, put, on that good, put on that dress that I like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You want to impress. <laughs> am, am, am I right? Am I right about it? You want to be able to, anytime you step out, that, that's okay, that's like a little side boy here. Anytime you step out. Right. You should be together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. I tell my son, anytime you look in the mirror, anytime you walk into the room, you are the most important person right. in that room. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. That's it, that's it. Never let somebody take you for granted. Right. I don't care what you look like. Right. Right. That's it. Right. So be careful on who you invite to people's function. You can't just let anybody anybody everybody house. And so the invitation was addressed to you and came to your house. It had your name on it. Yeah. And it gave you a plus one. I can imagine on the way to the furnace, uh -huh. these men be at, began to cry out to God. We know that they didn't bow down. They didn't want to eat the pagan foods. They were not going to address the idol God as, as their God. They serve the true and living God. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Even though you couldn't see him, just like that, he can make everybody feel his presence. Right. <laughs> and so they invited a plus one. Uh -huh. Yeah. They got into the fiery furnace and they were bound. That's <laughs> and on the way, they were probably praying and crying out to God. God, you said. You said right. mm -hmm. that if I did your will, mm -hmm. yeah. that if I mm -hmm. didn't abandon you in front of people, right. Right. Well. if I didn't pull a Judas on you, you said that you would cover me. There you go. There you go. So now they're in the fiery furnace. They're bound. There's no way that these men could have got out of this furnace thing, Sandra, by themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. No way. There, there's no way. I don't care what science may tell you. I don't care what the theories may tell. I don't care what they tell you. There's no way they could have got out of this furnace without their plus one. That's it. That's it. See, see, the thing is, that plus one showed up at the most opportune time that he could have. Right, right. 
While they were there, you know, they, they were on looking. Mm -hmm. They were looking at them. See, see, people, when, sometimes when they do things to you, they like to watch. They like to watch the discomfort that they got you in. They know that, they know that you really want to say something to them. You, you really want to do something to them, but they know that you can't because this job holds me under certain restrictions. You, you, know, you know what you're doing. So they sat and they watched the three men. Mm -hmm. What they wanted to see, the movie that they thought they paid for, was mm -hmm. to watch these men burn and be disintegrated right, right. because of their strong beliefs. Right. Now, now, what, what we did tell you, when, right when he, after he said that he had made the image and he made it well, he said that he was going, he said, he asked them, he said, and what God? Huh. And what God is going to save you yeah. right, right. out of my hand? Right. Come on, come on. Right, uh, yeah, you didn't want to eat. You didn't want to eat this food. I had all this music for you, and you didn't appreciate none of it. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody likes somebody that's 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 ungrateful. I've done all of this, and look where you are now. Now you tied up, and I'm steady turning the fire up. I'm steady turning up. You know how on that store you have you had that where you go all the way to the church and you got that line that say brawl right there? Yeah, yeah that's where you at right now. <laughs> all you had to do right. was fall down right. and worship. Right. That's right. We have to be careful of what we give the space of worship to. Right. We have to be careful what we give the space of falling down and humbling ourselves to. Right. So they're watching. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they're watching them. Uh -huh. And I can imagine that they probably were laughing at first. You know, <laughs> we got them. Yeah. We got them. They ain't want to listen. But we got them. They're burning up. Watch them. So I can, I can imagine the king, he, he turned around and he telling all the folks, watch them. They burning. He said, no, king, look. Look. Yeah, I see them. They burning. Uh -huh. No, no, king, you need to look in here. <laughs> right. <laughs> And the king got to look at <laughs> Count it four again. Uh -huh. He turned to somebody, didn't we? Yeah. Three. Three. Three of them, right? right? right. <laughs> what the king forgot. Hmm. Come on. Come on, preach, preach. When he sent the invitation out. Yeah. Uh -huh. plus that was a plus one. Yeah. 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 Tell y'all something else that's gonna blow y'all mind, right? You had Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right? Uh -huh. They all had a plus one. Uh -huh. So when you tell me that that other person in there represented the Father, the Son, the Son and the Holy Ghost, yeah, yeah, yeah. they now exercise their flexibility to have a plus one. Uh, again, I'm urging you to be careful who your plus one is. Yeah. How many times have we all been on our knees fasting mm -hmm. and praying? Mm -hmm. And some of us are praying the same prayer. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Some looking to God for a different need. Somehow, some way, God shows up for all of us right. at the same time. Oh. All right, all right, that's good. God is so valuable. He was so treasurable in their eyes mm -hmm. that they all invited the same plus one. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be important. Yeah. You know, when you get to invite three, four different parties at the same time, you gotta figure out which one to go to. Yeah. I ain't never had that problem, but I know what you're talking about. But they all had the same plus one. That's gotta be a real important man for all of us. <laughs> to pick the same plus one. But he can show up for all of us at the same time. I can hear them praying now. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help that I know. At this time, I can't call on my cousin. I know if I call AJ right now, in a, in a physical thing, that if he's not busy, he might unbusy himself to come and see about me. And I would do the same. If Antoine would call me and tell me, I really need your help, I can, I can make my mind up that I'm going to be there. But there are some circumstances that might hinder me from being there. 
But when you call on God, yeah. he's so ambidextrous that he can see about Antoine, yeah. he can see about me, he can see about on, AJ, on, and have uh, Sandra on his mind. He can see, he can do this because right. our God is just that powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Different from the God that you made, never check that. This, this one you got to bring along with you. You got to talk to this God one at a time. I got to make an appointment. I don't, I'm glad I don't have to have an appointment to talk to God. Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter where I am, who I'm with. Yeah. If I feel the need, no matter where I am, right. yeah. I can call on God. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And he don't tell me, hold on, I'm talking to Antoine right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk to Antoine all year. You ain't even talk to me. You ain't even pray to me or nothing. I got to listen to what Antoine got to say. Yeah. <laughs> but God doesn't neglect us in that fashion. Right. He right. hears us, mm. and it says he hears our cry. Right. Yes. Right. Before I leave this morning, I want to let you in on another little secret. Yes, that, there's, there's more to it. Not only did Jesus come and visit the Hebrew boys in the midst of the heated circumstance, uh -huh. a heated situation, mm -hmm. guess what? He's still in the fire. Still. Yeah. All right, still. All right. He's still in the fire right now. Oh, yes, right. And you know why he's in the fire? He's in the fire waiting because he knows that your situation is going to heat up pretty soon. Right. 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 He knows that there's going to be something that comes into your life that makes you reach your boiling point, that you're almost ready to spill over, and he comes in. Yeah, right, right. Right on time. Right on time. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he's still there when, when your wife starts sleeping on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> he's still there in the fire. He's there when he won't come home at night. Come on. He's there when your bills start turning colors. Y'all know what I'm talking about? They're going to to pink. Yeah, he's there too. Uh, he, he's there when your boss is getting on your nerves. He, he's there when you're confused about your sexuality. He's there because, not because you didn't invite him. Right. Come on, come on. He's there. Yeah. Yeah. But when you cry out to him, that's when he appears. Right. Right. Before I go, God won't invite himself into your situation. He wants to be welcomed in. He wants to have access to you. Close enough access where if you got an important party in your life, you got an important situation in your life, that's something that you've been dealing with. You've been dealing with depression. You've been dealing with drug over. You've been dealing with something. And when you're dealing with that something, all you have to do is activate your plus one. Activate your plus one and God will hear about you and he'll see about you and he'll care about you. This is what the God that we serve. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Who is your plus one? <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App at dollar sign TVMBC or by mail at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church 1407 Grove Street, Houston, Texas 77020. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.